All right, I am here at Kentucky in the Xfinity right, ding, ding, ding. 5 video game. I'm going to try to lay down a decent lap time, talk about the line I'm using, show the setup I'm using to get there, all that good stuff. Um, I have ran a 30.95 with this, uh, which I think is still a couple of tenths off of like 10th place all time. You're clear of that. I think 10th place all time is seven something. Um, but for my skill level, being a couple of tenths off of 10th uh, place all time, I will take it. I think that means it's probably a pretty decent setup, and somebody with a, a little better skill set than I have might be able to get uh, in this setup more than a leader. Uh, I'm hoping to get, uh, you know, a 31-1 or so on video here to kind of show what the setup can do. And I will talk about the setup, the line, all that good stuff. Kentucky, I think, is very different than any other mile and a half track. Um, it requires patience. It requires precision. It seems like you can be off just a little bit on your marks, and it shows up not in a tenth or two on the stopwatch, but it'll show up in three or four tenths. That lap was a 31.06. I am very happy with that. Uh, let's now talk about the line I'm using and then go to the setup. So at Kentucky, uh, it's kind of hard because it's I feel like the corners are very sweeping very you're in the corner a long time both front front and or both one and two and three and four and it takes a lot um, to figure out what you're doing because there's not great marks on the track I like to say back here coming into turn three that blue portage on up there a little bit before it probably about where I'm at now this Pardon me. This is where I want to start coming off the wall. A little bit before, a few car lengths before you get to that portage on. You're still in the gas, but you're coming off of the wall. You start coming off the wall, you're trying to get down to that yellow line, but you don't want to get there too early. Getting there too early is going to make it hard to get around that corner. What I am looking at is I'm starting to come off the wall, but I want to start getting off the gas about the time I am at this green light here probably actually just a little bit before it, but that's kind of the mark I am looking at. And by getting off the gas here, you're not on the brake, you're letting it roll. Don't overturn the wheel. You turn the wheel too much and it's just gonna scrub off more speed. You hear him talk about in NASCAR all the time, rolling the corner and the car handling in the middle of the corner. This is an example of that. You're rolling through the middle of the corner here. Uh, now, as we keep progressing through the corner, you get about to where you are even with these billboards. Uh, you want to be getting back in the throttle. What I try to do is when I turn that wheel coming off the uh, wall, I pretty much leave the wheel turned at about the same angle until I am about here. Here is where I'm getting back in the gas, and I'm usually back in the gas hard. I don't mind being a little bit above the um, suggested line here because I want to be, I want to have a, an angle that will get me down when I come off the corner and be below the suggested line coming off of it. So about here I'm getting back to the suggested line I think and then I am trying to stay really low and hug the bottom all the way through here. And basically, once I get in the throttle there in the middle of three and four, I am just hard on the throttle. I usually am not easing my way into it. But you get a feel for it. You want the car to be more or less rotated in the corner before you get in the throttle. Because if the car isn't rotated and you get in the throttle, you're going to push up the track. Um, I am running usually the apron through this section or close to the apron. Then once you get past the start finish line, you start working your way back up into the racing groove. And right on turn one starts really early to me, okay? Really early. So the mark I am looking at is there is uh, whatever that Toyota sign, a few link car lengths before that Toyota sign, probably about here. To me, this is where this corner starts. Maybe even a car length or two back from where I'm at, but it's before you get there. I want to be up here close to the wall, then I want to turn the wheel, and I want to have the car at about this angle. I want to be aiming, have the car basically aim for the yellow line at the apex of the corner. That's where I want to be, and when I turn off the wall, 
I am off the gas really early. I am probably off the gas right in here. I'm not off the gas all the way in one and two. I am lifting. Maybe I'm lifting to somewhere between 50 and 75 percent throttle, but I'm not all the way off the gas. Then I am hard back on the gas. It's almost a lift it up, put it back down type thing. You're not really rolling. You're back in the throttle. And again, I am not real worried about being at the, the yellow line here in the middle part of the corner. As you come off the corner though, there is a groove or seam or crack or whatever you can see it it's right below my car now if you can ride that coming out of the corner uh, if you get below it or something it seems like you, the car can get a little squirrely on you and loose but if you can ride that seam out of the corner you're 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 really in the groove you need to be in now if you are coming out and you got the car more or less straight and you get below the yellow line not a big deal, but if I'm going below the yellow line, I want to have the car more or less straight. If I'm trying to turn the wheel a lot and I'm below the yellow line, I'm going to spin out. So that's Kentucky. There's not, a, it seems like it's hard to find marks on the track. It's very difficult, I think, to get a, a handle on because you're in the corner so much. It's something that you do it over and over and over and you develop a rhythm. Uh, but this was a 3106, and like I said, I've ran a 30.9. Let's go to the garage and talk about the setup. Now, I realize I have talked a lot, but I, I feel like there's a lot to a lot to that goes into a lap at Kentucky, so it, it needed to, to have a lot talked about. Um, at Kentucky, one of the things you struggle with is um, is getting into the corner. Okay. Um, so that left front bump awesome. you see there, that left front bump that is clear up at eight, that is something that helps you get into the corner. So I'm talking about this right here where I am at. Bumping that up helps corner entry. So I have bumped that up to try to get the car to turn into the corner. That's the thing that sticks out a lot in the bump and rebound settings. Um, I ran a heavier front weight and heavier wedge because it just seemed like the car was a little more, more stable and easier to get my hands around with those settings. Uh, the springs and the tire weights are pretty much, I think, the defaults. The cambers are not real crazy. Um, I was all over the place on the track bars trying to get this thing adjusted to where it would turn uh, without burning off the right rear tire. I got it to where it would turn to where, but it was a very odd sensation. The car felt tight, but the right rear tire was burning off, and that's usually when your car is loose. So to get the car to where I felt like it would turn at an acceptable rate, but not burn the tires off was a real struggle. This is what I wound up with. If you get into a uh, race and you feel like you are either burning the right or right front or right rear off, adjust your tire pressures. If your right front is burning off, lower it. If your right rear is burning off, lower it. Whichever tire is burning off, lower the tire pressure on it. Um, gearing is the last thing I'll say and I'll wrap this up. I landed a 3.40. I really feel like if you're a little bit better driver than I am, you can run a 3.33 and be happy with it. To run a 3.33, you got to keep the RPMs up. you got to roll the corner. you got to keep a little more momentum up or you will lose time on your drive off of the corner. But I really feel like if you're a little higher skill set than I am, you'll be happier with the 3.33. So that is Kentucky. Um, I haven't done a lot of setup videos lately. I've kind of got busy with some other stuff, but I'm getting back into them. Hope you enjoyed this. Give me a huge favor. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, the channel's really growing. I think I'm up to almost 750 subscribers now. So thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for all the positive feedback that I'm getting on these videos. Greatly appreciate it. Let's keep it going. Um, like I said, like this video and subscribe to the channel. You have no idea how much your support means to me. It means a great deal. I'd love to see all the thumbs up and all the positive comments. So thank you guys for watching and hope you guys have a great evening.